With what I know. Ken is look at that. Oh, look at this this is Mac. Like, wow, we're back. Ken is wow. here. He's making a DIY whelping box for these adorable puppies. And I have to start right away by asking you, what is a whelping box? Well, very good question. I actually did not know what one was yeah. either. And about a month ago, um, Vicki Wagner from Eloise Rescue asked me. She, they found a dog who was going to have puppies, these puppies, mm -hmm. and she needed a whelping box. And whelping boxes are sort of containment things mm -hmm. for uh, dogs to have their puppies and then to care for them. Um, and evidently, I found out they're very expensive. They're, you know, upwards of 400 bucks to buy. And uh -huh. so she asked me, is there any way I could figure out how to DIY well, what one for less? what does a normal one, you're going to do it. What does it look like? Yeah, what is a normal Well, here, we have like? a couple here that are available on the market. So this one, I think, is around 380. Okay. Um, it's based, you've got four sides. You've got an entrance area for mom. There's another, usually out of wood or out of, like, wire and mesh. That one, I think, was 349. Wow. Um, so they're super handy to have, but that's a lot yeah. of I know, money. and you're really only going to have it for a period a of time. Right? Exactly, right. So exactly. It's uh, a lot of money, and then you've got to either get rid of it or have more or whatever. So. Exactly. We got right. started on this a little earlier today. Yep, sure did. Let's roll the tape. <laughs> Max says roll the tape. So I started off with just four sheets of two by f two foot by four foot plywood. Get that already pre-done. And then I measured down, we're doing paper doll technology again, measured down 12 inches and three quarters inch wide, which is the thickness of the plywood. Um, and then I just cut out two slots, one on each side, I did them about two inches in from the side, um, on each one. So basically you get that piece, you're gonna repeat that exact same thing four times. So very, very easy, simple. Then take one of the pieces and find the center, get anything that's large and round and draw a half circle, extend the lines up, and this is gonna be for the mom's door. Go ahead and cut that out. Um, now to hold the door in place, I wanted something very simple that didn't require hinges or anything like that. So I just got wood discs and wood letters and sort of sandwiched them. Disc on one side, letter I chose H and F, but you can use the puppy's names, your family name, what have you. So that gets us our actual box pieces. Now next is um, what's for called a, a puppy rail, and you're gonna use PVC. I basically cut um, eight pieces 18 inches long, and then I also had four T's and four tri-corners. Um, so that, I just use a little like, oh look, they're falling. Oh, I know. Keep it down, keep it down. Know, keep it down. Right? Um, uh, and that's all you need to do to make it. Very simple. I want to get to that PVC, what's the purpose of it in a minute, but can we put this yes. together? Yes, would you mind? Can you take would over there? Mind? Cool. I'll give you really a hand cool. on this. So. Yeah, so basically it just, you put up your two sides with the mm -hmm. slits facing up, and then your other two sides with the slits facing out. Before you do that, let me just show you this. Yes. This is how the, the letters work. So basically you've got your round disc, and so this moves in and out so when you want to let an area for the mom mom to come in and you put that oh, at the front okay oh my gosh ken this is the cutest thing and then all you do is slide it and this is paper doll technology, paper doll That's technology. What it's we've used what? it several times i know i know i didn't really think, <laughs> think of it that way but trademark you get, that term we got it the thing is when you do it you got to get it just Not level right. and then, there we go all right straight down okay. and then so there you go so it's very it's very sturdy um, and then you put the PVC in. But wait, then we, before we do that, can I ask you a couple of questions? How, how high is this? I would just want to dimension wise so, in that scoop in the door. So it really depends upon your breed. This is 24 inches, and that's the standard that the plywood comes in. Uh -huh. And that will be for almost any dog. But if you have a smaller dog, you can go down to 18 inches. You want it big enough so that the puppies can't get out. Okay. So, and then you want the door so that if the mom can come and go, or if the mom needs to nurse, you can shut her in there. The yeah. mom goes outside, you can contain the puppies safely. So and this, I also noticed that you didn't paint it. Is that a Just in case they piece? gnaw on it or chew on it. On it, there's going to be no toxins well, or anything like that. they're born that way to not. They're born in well, things, right? Oh, and then this is called a puppy rail. And what that is, when a, when a mother gives birth and when she nurses, her she has spine issues, so she always wants to push up against a solid surface. Uh -huh. This makes sure that there's no puppy can get trapped underneath her. So it's a safety yeah. issue. It keeps her a little bit away. Believe it or not, that happens more often right. than you know. Where so, the sure. so that little bit of PVC So it's kind of like her. a bumpers and it's a, bumper and a, like a crib. crib. Exactly. exactly. It keeps the baby safe. And the great thing about this is that when the when the puppies have grown, take it all, lies flat, goes yeah. in the garage, doesn't take yeah. it. Now, Here's what about a good cleanliness? Because puppies are going to have accidents. 
Sure. They are. And I just <laughs> yeah. found this out. I was saying, oh, like with newspaper, you don't use a newspaper anymore because if they chew it, the dyes can be toxic to puppies. Mm -hmm. So Whoa. get something like a puppy pee mat, which you can buy yeah, out, okay. or just use towels and blankets. You might want to put a tarp underneath to protect your floors. Mm -hmm. And then all you're going to do it's is late. spread towels that you can throw in the wash and put them over the, um, the rail. if you got the mom, over the rail so it makes it more comfortable for the mom well, to How much on this versus the one on the market? That, the one on the market, 389 there's 40 bucks.